Hi everyone, so I'm going to kind of pack them in today. I'm going to be talking about some straight thrillers that I really enjoyed this year. Okay, so I'm going to start with None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. And let me just say, Lisa Jewell does not miss. It's about two women who meet on their shared birthday. One is an up-and-coming podcaster, and one is has had a very traumatic life. They decide to make a podcast together, and that's all I'm going to say. This book has everything, ambiguity, gaslighting, so much drama, jealousy, obsession. It's just awesome, and it also sheds kind of a beautiful light on the world of gaming. The next book is The Other Black Girl by Zakia Harris. This book is about Nella, who is a young black woman in the very white world of publishing. Her firm hires Hazel May, another young black woman, to her surprise, and the two form an instant connection. Hazel May starts to seem both too good to be true and also not quite on the same page as Nella. And this, of course, soon has Nella questioning everything. This book was adapted for TV for Hulu. I haven't watched it yet. Let me know if you saw it and if it was good. The next book is Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. I'm not always a Karen Slaughter fan, but this one was a wild ride. It's about a young woman, Andy, and her mother, Laura. They're out at lunch one day when something violent and quite traumatic happens. Andy's mother does something unexpected and earth-shattering. Andy has to spend the rest of the book trying to figure out the truth about her mother's past. There's a TV series for this one also, starring Toni Collette. The next one is All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. S.A. Cosby doesn't miss either. It's about Titus, a black cop in a small southern town who was called out to deal with a school shooting. It turns out that the shooter is the son of an old friend and the victim was a beloved teacher in the town. This book could have been really heavy with all of the racial issues and the religious corruption and not to mention the horrific crimes. But it was so well crafted and well written that I couldn't put it down and I truly cried at the end. And it definitely stuck with me. And the next book is Bluebird Bluebird by Attica Luck. Aside from her books, Attica Luck is known as a TV writer and wrote for Empire, Little Fires Everywhere, and When They See Us. This book started very similarly to All the Sinners Bleed. It's about a troubled black cop in a small southern town. He's in the town to investigate the murders of a black man and a white woman who no one in the town want those murders connected. This book has all the standard tropes of a classic thriller detective story, but the issues of race and family and history were just handled in such a lovely way that, again, this book really stuck with me. Next, I'm going to talk about The Quiet Tenant by Clemence Michelon. This book is about a well-respected man named Aiden living in a town with his sullen daughter, oh, and the woman he's been keeping prisoner in his shed for years. When he is forced to move, he brings the prisoner, Rachel, along with him into his new house and lets her live inside the house, calling her a family friend. If you like pulse pounding, this one is pulse pounding. And the last one I'm going to talk about is The One by John Mars. Imagine if you could do a 23andMe type test to discover who your soulmate is. This book follows a handful of people on this journey and is at times heartwarming, is at times traumatic, is at times horrific. But I couldn't put it down and I thought it was a really interesting thought exercise. Okay, well I hope you have enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.